Welcome to Igor Tech Channel. Today, I will show you how to configure TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender. On this demo, I am using TP-Link RE305-AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender. Looking at the device, it has 4 LED lights which is power, signals, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz indicators. Next is WPS button. On the other side, shows the Ethernet port which is used to connect Ethernet only device to the Ethernet port of the extender to join the Wi-Fi network. And next to it is the reset button hole, from here, we need a pin to press the button to reset the extender. Now let's plug the extender to the power outlet, and then wait until the power LED is solid on. Now the device is ready, I will go to my PC and start the configuration. Here on the taskbar below, click the Wi-Fi icon to view available networks. Look for the extender's wireless network, TP-Link underscore extender, and click connect. Then on the browser, enter http colon slash slash tplinkrepeater.net or http colon slash slash 192.168.0.254 in the address bar, then create a password to log in. Here in the new window, let's select our host router's 2.4 GHz network to extend, in this case, I will select Villa 2.4G network, then enter its password, and click next. Now, let's select our host router's 5 GHz network to extend, Let's select Villa 5G network, then enter its password, and click next. Click confirm to continue, then click next to save. Note, if your host router does not support 5G Hz wireless network, please click skip to continue. After clicking the save button, the Wi-Fi extender will reboot with a new network SSID same as the extended network with an extension of EXT since we did not change a while ago. For now, we have to reconnect using the new SSID, and go back to extender settings by entering http colon slash slash tplinkrepeater.net in a browser. Log in using the same password which we have created a while ago. Now we're here on the settings, just click later to cancel this message. Click on the wireless button, then click on extended network. From here, we can change the SSID of two different network. You can leave the default name, or same as the extended network, or you can put your own, then press save to continue. And of course, you have to reconnect to the new network. Here's our network details. Now our Wi-Fi extender is configured, let's check our internet speed. Just type speed test in the browser. Select speed test by Oitla, and press go. Our ping, download and upload tests are all good, this means we got a good internet connection. We're done now with Wi-Fi extender configuration. This covers how to configure Wi-Fi range extender. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.